Hello everyone, Zinu Zuma here, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time, we faced Gatto. And this time, it's time to face the leader of Mekonis, Egil. Sorry for the noise. Can't exactly help with kids or be excited. Venea, where have you been? Egil, why do you go so far to destroy the Bionis? We survived that battle. We should have created a new world in which we could live in peace. And we still can. The rage of those who were annihilated by the Monado will never dissipate. Think not about avenging the dead. Think of the living. Please, Egil. I... I don't want to lose you. Are you so resigned to giving your life for this? Life or death, I care for neither of these. The agonized cries of our brethren resound within my ears. Until they are silenced, I am deaf to all else. Egil. So, you have finally arrived, heir to the Monado. You are Egil, leader of Makonis. That I am. Of course. You have never seen me outside my face, Yalda Balf. But even if I am without it, you will never defeat me. Wait. I didn't come to fight you. Cowardice? Then relinquish the Monado and kneel before me. I didn't come to surrender to you either. I just want to know something. You have my undivided attention. Ask your question. I've seen the legends of the Machina right here in the capital. I think I understand why you want to fight the Bionis. But why send the Mechon to attack the people of Bionis? <laughs> I don't see the joke. We share the same world. The Homs, Nopon, and High Entia live in harmony. So why not the Machina too? Tell me, boy. Are you familiar with the concept of starvation tactics? Of course. A military strategy in which you cut the supply lines and starve out the enemy. So, then you understand that that is the best method by which to ensure victory. I have no resentment or hatred for the peoples of Bionis. I am simply depleting the Bionis energy. Striking back at the titan that robbed my people of their lives. I don't understand. Perhaps you need me to put things more simply. All life on Bionis exists purely to feed its master. What? Ether. The base element of all things that exist in this world. My body, your bodies. You are aware that Ether is the foundation of them all. Yes. Ether is power. You are the source of that power. All life that is born from the Bionis dies and is returned to the Bionis. Unlike the Mechonis, the Bionis feeds on ether provided by those who return to it. Upon the moment of its eventual awakening, it will require an incredible number of lives. But that means... What are you talking about? Are you saying we're just food? It was the Bionis that created you for such a purpose, not I. So you attacked Bionis to reduce the Bionis power supply? Correct. You are nothing more than bugs to be devoured by my sworn adversary. Do not speak to me of your foolish dreams of unity. Foolish? We only grieve for those we've lost, as you do. Machina or Homs, we've suffered the same. Don't tell me it's different. Indeed. We have both suffered. So then.
You doubt my convictions, my reasons. In order to avenge my people, I have risked everything. Can you say the same? Yes, we can. To get this far, we fought long and hard. And yet, you do not fight me. Your words are useless. It is only strength that can prevail. Shulk, this whole thing stinks, but he's got a point. Agreed. Egil, leader of Makonis. The lives of the Machina and the lives of all that lives on Bionis are one and the same. We won't stop. Not until you realize that. And we fight Egil. No, I don't no, find me with the world and you bug. Manufactured draw. Let's focus our efforts. We would use these guys to build up chain attack. Oh, you've got to be joking. He blocked. You've got to be joking. Oof, I forgot, I forgot how high level Eggle is. We may not actually have enough level to deal with him. There's no way we can win. This one no, will take I some time to bring the world if you bump. So, usually I'm roughly this level, so. May end up just you shall pay. How can this be? Ready when you are. You cannot withstand my power. Everyone, let's go. You can definitely do this. Taper suddenly was a seventy. Jesus. May just go in casual mode, just for the rest of this playthrough because I I don't want to grind. Just one more left. Apologies for those who probably weren't expecting such. Because I didn't ever plan for this. Prepare to die! Sorry. Not good guys. Prepare. 
Here I was only expecting two fights to have it, but if we're this outmatched level-wise... If we're this outmatched, then it is really better for us to... Just deal with it. Just swallow the pride. Because expert mode is not on, just to show. Turn it on. Not one for doing this, but hey, I want the fight to be done quick. I want the fight to be done quickly. But I will still do these fights as if they were. How could this happen even with the Apocrypha? You know, Egil. You know the reason. Hmm. The power of the will to protect your own. Is that what you refer to? And what of you, Venea? You would side with those of Bionis and attack me. You have forfeited your right to exist. Perhaps. If that is to be my fate, I gladly accept, brother. As would any of the villagers. So the few remaining members of my people have now betrayed me. Interesting. You're wrong! The villagers and I, 
We just wanted all this fighting to stop. Egil, all we wanted was to live with you in peace. Nothing more than that. Nonsense. There will never be peace until the Bionis is destroyed. Brother! <laughs> Your blade. It did not come deep enough. The Golden Mechon! Permit me to apologize for calling you bugs just now. You proved to be a worthy adversary after all. Shulk! Now we fight Yalda both. But we cannot win. Just like last time. Try in vain. Yelled both. It's a reference to. Well. Probably a lot of false gods. As his name is usually used in many media to identify false gods. You can either waste time or wait for him to do this. Prepare to die. Shulk. No. Zanza. Sansa. Uh. I won't let you kill Shulk. You. That luck. So you have returned. Our grievances have come and gone. But you are willing to lay down your life to prevent me from achieving my dream. You were the one who said we would live together, Lady Mayneth. Yes, Mayneth, the villagers, everyone loved you. That is why they wished to live alongside you. It's all so clear now, to Mayneth and to me. I waited until the day when you would awaken once more and create a world full of light. But you are nothing more than a traitor. To me, to all those who worshipped you, and to our fallen brethren. Please, you have to listen to me. Egil! I will not listen. Your words mean nothing. You have sided with my sworn enemy. And gods can never exist alongside mortals. Mayness! Mechonis, it is I, Egil, I, your devoted servant, offer my body and mind to replace Mayneth as your new soul. Take my spirit and be reawakened. Mechonis! We have to run! Get out of here! The whole city's gonna come down! Shulk! Run where? We have to get out of the city! Get as far away as we can! He's gone. 
He's not here anymore. There's no time. We have to get ourselves out. No! I have to find him! Gado! Uh, uh. Pull yourself together. Remember, Sharla, we've got a job to do. What's gonna happen if the Maconis starts moving? But... What's gonna happen to Juju and Atharon? Gado's a Hom soldier. He wouldn't have hung around here to die. He would have got out. Uh, all right. Right. Now, come on! Shook! Seen that casual sigil? A sign? Yes. If a catastrophe were imminent, it would naturally be preceded by a sign. It can't be. Convey these orders to all troops. Pull the front line back to the Bionis arm. All units, withdraw from the front at once. Sir, are you sure? Victory is in our hands, Your Highness. We must strike the final blow. Do you not realize where we are? Sir? Listen to me. We are on the sword of the Mekonis. in mid-air. Fiora, are you doing this? Lady Manus, you have awakened once more. This light, was it you who saved us when we fell from the fortress? Manus, where's Fiora? It's okay, I'm here too. After all that occurred at the fortress, my soul was exhausted. But I was revived by the cry of a young Holmes. By his wish to protect you all. Gado. If he had not acted as a shield, I would have been unable to save you. I am sorry. Gado. Saved us. Now he's... The Mechonis! Where's Egil? Shulk! Do you hear it? The awakening of the Mechonis! This is my pain. The pain of my people, echoing through the millennia! Fall to your deaths, worthless insects! 
Stop this! Kalyan and the others are still on the sword! Our friends are going to die! Stop! <laughs> The monster is gonna pay! Uh, uh, but Tharon! Fiora? <sighs> Sorry. I can't do it. <sighs> Fiora! Board junks, the Machina ship. It was he who informed us that you were in danger. I'm glad we found you in time. Thank you. Hey! What a stroke of luck! You're still alive! Dixon! So you were unable to stop Egil. <sighs> Sorry, Father. I have failed you, Venea. There's no need to apologize. <sighs> so, what do we do now? At this rate, that blasted Egil's gonna destroy Bionis. Alvis, what happened to the Allied force? I informed His Highness of the possibility that the Maconis would awaken. His Highness is wise. He will have acted to minimize casualties. That's good. Brother, there is still time. Fiora? No, you're... So it is her. The Mekonis and I exist as one. Egil is using ether energy absorbed from the Bionis to force it to move. There is still time before the Mechonis fully adapts to the Aether. Egil is at the core of the Mechonis. He will be controlling the Mechonis from there. Only by destroying the core will you be able to stop the Mechonis. But how are we to get there? The Mechonis capital is destroyed. Father, how much remaining energy does Junks have? Don't worry. I made sure to fill her up. <laughs> On the back of the Mechonis is a huge cooling duct. We should be small enough to enter the control core section via the duct's heat transfer conduits. Junks can take us as far as the duct. You have our gratitude. We must go there at once. Then let's get a move on. This one's for Gado. Here, here. Too right. Gado's wishes live on through me. We will fight to the end. When you are ready to depart for the Mechonis, let my father know. I will prepare the vessel. Understood. Oi! Look at that! What the... There is little time left. We must stop Egil this time. It is in your hand, Shulk. I know.
don't believe we get any new things. So. Is moving. Oi, you! I'm warning you. You better not drop me. You let me go, and you'll be doing sit-ups for the rest of your life. Yes, Colonel. Benea, I am sorry. For Lady Maynard's will to be realized, I had no choice but to use your body. Even so, actually, I'm grateful. Thanks to this body, I got to see Shulk and the others again. <laughs> Where is Lady Maynard now? Shall I call her? She is usually asleep. Maybe she just doesn't want to disturb me. It's an unusual feeling. Two hearts in one body. It's not every day you get to experience something like this. I see. That is a great relief. It's as if I can see into our heart. We each know what the other's thinking, but it's strange. It feels like there's a part of my heart that's hidden. It's the part that holds Manus' feelings, and I can't see them. Maybe it's only natural. Everyone has one or two secrets, right? But I know how much she cares about this world. That's why I'm happy to let her use my body. Fiora, I think Lady Maynath is glad that she met you. Yeah, I know. from His Highness. The Allied force retreated in time. Casualties were kept to a minimum. Glad to hear it. That's great news. All areas are being prepared for evacuation. We can only hope they make it. We won't let them down. This is one fight we can't afford to lose. Here upon Ricky, all set. Ricky, bounce some heads. We'll go with you. Can't beat strength in numbers. Really? You're a tough old timer. What's this? The old fossil wants to tag along. As long as you don't slow us down. Sir, uh, let's see who makes it through that battle.
Oh, okay. They're very naked. We're here. Everyone ready? Ready. Anytime. Leave it to Hero von Ricky. <sighs> hey, Shulk. What is it this time? Stop worrying and come on. The Monado isn't at full strength. I don't know if it can beat Egil. You're talking about that apocryph... whatchamacallit thing. Don't worry. He's no match for all of us together. At least the previous encounter allowed us to gauge how he fights. We won't make the same mistakes again. The core is directly linked to the Apocrypha generator. Destroy the generator, and the Apocrypha field will deactivate, allowing Shulk's Monado to function properly again. Now you tell us. I wish you'd said something earlier. Oh, Shulk, did you hear that? <laughs> Looks like you'll get your wish. Something's not right. What? Egil. He called me Zanza. The same Zanza who devastated Mekonis. What did he mean? He was just trying to get to you. I told you before, right? I haven't had any visions lately. Yeah? But I still know, if I concentrate, I feel like something will happen, and it does. Are you saying you don't need a vision to know what comes next? Pull the other one. Ryan, you're going to scratch your head with your right hand. <gasps> what are you on about, Shulk? Stop playing around. Oh. But... How did you do that? I can't work it out. Ever since we came to Mekonis, my abilities have been changing. Why would that happen? <laughs> If it's true that Zanza used the Monado to lay waste to Mekonis, then... Is it right for me to use it? Is what I'm trying to do really the right thing? Shulk! control of the Monado has always been flawless. It never crossed my mind that this would happen to you too. Are you sure you're okay? Perhaps you are suffering this much because you put all your energy into fighting the effect of the Apocrypha. And you learnt yet, Shulk? How many times do I have to tell you? If something's up, you've got to spit it out, man. I ain't just talking about visions. I mean, whatever's on your mind. All right? Mm. S sorry. Ryan. Don't go apologizing. It's my fault for not noticing. Let's get one thing straight. I've still got your back. Uh, thanks. No. Huh? Prepare to die. Shulk. No. Zanza. This wasn't caused by the Apocrypha. It's a completely different kind of power. Shulk. What's happening to me? I know I should be glad we made it this far, but if we don't find the Apocrypha generator soon... Exactly. The fight against Egil's not going to be easy with the Monado in its current state. And we don't know what kind of toll it'll take on Shulk's body. We have to destroy that generator. It's up ahead. Shulk? There's a strong energy coming from up ahead. That has to be it. Really? Yes. Then this is it. Egil's gonna be scrap metal when I'm through with him. 
So. Now we're getting close. Switch. Purge. And speed. Because I personally really like... Ooh, uh, give me a moment as well. Two enchant near the end. Speed here. Then I can keep it. Keep that on Shulk. Because Shulk is almost maxed out. Battle Soul, which will be very useful. That's gonna curse me. Right now we're in the bonus factory. We can technically return to near where like near if it is in the original at least. In this version, uh they fixed that. to Apocrypha. It's just as I thought. The Monado feels the same as it did before the Apocrypha took effect. No. It feels even more powerful. The Bionis Monado and this Monado, they have to be connected. Somehow. Because you aren't here. Not anymore. Why am I remembering that dream? Why now? <sighs> Without the power, I can't stop Egil. I have to concentrate. All I have to think about is how to stop the Mechonis. If the Monado does bring about the end, then I know what to do. Fiora! Shulk, what were you thinking about? Uh, uh nothing. So... It's like that, is it? Really, it's nothing. Listen, Shulk. If it's too hard for you to handle on your own, talk to me. Huh? Fiora? You can tell any of the others as well. We're all here for you. Don't forget that. You're right. You're here for me. Of course. And don't overdo it, okay? We all saw what happened. Is your arm okay? Yeah, it's not bad. I'll live. Oi! You two! Is something up? No! It's nothing. Come on! Mm hmm. Sure. You can. <sighs> To quote Chugga A. Conroy, Poor Melia! I can't do as good a voice as mine. As him? This is not the time! The Apocrypha Generator. This... machine... is this...? Yes. The Apocrypha Generator. Yeah! Let's trash the thing! We take this out and it's plain sailing for Shulk. It should be. It is a miracle that you have been able to use the Monado at all. Hear that? Ah. Are you really alright? Yeah. I'm... fine. Venea, we need to find Egil. The control core is directly above. It is not far.
Wait. It's moving. No. We're too late. You mean? The Mechonis functions have been restored. No, it can't be. Yes. You puny pests are too late. has struck. Not good. I think it must have hit somewhere on Bionis. No. No. Move out! Don't forget, we've still got a job to do. Right! Uh, what? The Apocrypha generator itself. Ooh. Oh, we finally can show. Which is so nice. But casual mode makes this even more of a joke of a height. That apoc or whatever. We did it, Shulk. Shulk? Oi! <sighs> Whoa. What's happened to the Monado? It must have changed just as the generator was destroyed. It's amazing. Now we're talking. Next up, Egil. Can you go on? Me? I'm all right. Come on, we have to stop Egil. Back on track. Just like I said, the kid'll come through. Naturally, everything is falling into place. Heh, <laughs> you can say that again. But only as long as we remain within the margins of fate. 
I know not how things will proceed from this point. Interesting. And we learned a new art. Art. Minato Arts. Cyclone. Can inflate topple. Placing ear over there. I will... Oh, so close. Too bad this isn't the second game with art books. Because otherwise I'd be giving Shulk an art book. But let's go. This episode will be a long one. So, prepare. So, you worms have finally arrived. Agil! Stop the Maconis! There has to be a way for us to live in peace! There's no reason for us to fight! You must stop this now! My reasons are clear! And truer than yours. What's that? Look, it's Bionis! May the roar of the Maconis be the wrath of my people! How many? Huh? How many do you think died in that attack? Hundreds? Maybe thousands? Ekil! You'll regret this! Brother! Stop this! You'll destroy the Bionis! Let us put an end to our torment! It ends when I say it ends! I will end our curse by destroying the world! You must realize that is not Lady Maynard's wish! That's why she left us her legacy, our whole world! Pure nonsense. That thing lurking within the Homs girl is no longer our god. This world no longer has a need for gods. Echil! Stop it! Face me, Shulk, successor of Zanza. I'll crush the Bionis and spread its ashes across the world. Then I'll turn the Monado into dust. Only then will there be peace. Oof. You will perish of my hands. Can't get close, but this is, but this is the closest we can get. So, just have to deal with this. That was great, guys. Save this one. Oh, bind it up. That's not good. Now he's big mech on, I believe. No, he's not. He's still not. Oh, did he have health? Oh, is it not have health? I thought it was just one. Energy replenish. Please. Mecha, but this is a new vision. Bionis slash X. Warning, Fiora. This is going to be helpful. Let's try break these en energy devices. Bad. 
sadly. Oh my god, really? Come on, dumb man! That went well and then just turned to garbage. And that was even the fault of the party. Just. Well, partly was, because they kept just getting caught. Granted, at least we can at least at least we can skip to that part quite quickly. Since I now know how much it takes. This fight's not even that hard. It's just. You my hand. Oh my god! This controller. We're counting on you! Leave it to me! Against the odds! We choose to fall! Blossom starts! Your turn! My turn! Your turns! One, two, three! Oh, that didn't work. That was great, guys. Yeah! We did it. Yeah! One more push. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Me too, Fiora. Oh, great. 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 Oh, Destroy these things. Hang in there. Don't give up. I'm really Run over! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shulk! Really? We're counting on you! Leave it to me! The only one that was smart enough to do this was Fiora. Fiora wasn't! <sighs> God damn it. That was great, guys! No, it wasn't! <laughs> we actually have to fight these guys off because these guys are actually gonna get in the way. Oh, 
I know. I use enchant instead of times. Yes, finish him. End it. It is what you want. Yes, I want to. I'll kill him for Fiora, for the Emperor, for my home. You must find your Monado. Are you ready? Are you feeling hungry, eh? Chew on this, scrap Did you for brain! you kill a Homs to beat us? I to kill. I once wished only to break the circle of suffering. Until I've he scrapped each and blood. every one of you! Maynard, the villagers, yes. everyone loved you. Every person. Yes. That is why they Finish wished him. to live alongside End you. End it. The way it is what so you want. To Maynard and to me. <sighs> no! This isn't what I want! Joke! No! Why didn't you do it? Killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized that we both share the same pain. Egil, I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know, but I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade. And I'll do it. Over and over again until... We understand each other. Okay? <sighs> you have used the Monado well. But do you honestly believe you are its master? Maconis and Bionis once lived in harmony. They coexisted in peace, without hatred or strife. Egil. Why do you think we were born? Ah, philosophy. Alas, I'm not very good at answering such questions. 
Have you never thought about it? Never contemplated what lies beyond this world? Beyond this world? <laughs> Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Mekonis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But what lies beyond that? We are still young and unable to leave the Bionis or the Mekonis. Say goodbye to our creators, our world. But one day our descendants will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds, worlds we have never imagined, by strength of their will alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Hey, Gil. I wish to see that the people of Bionis and the people of Mekonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes, I too desire this, Aglas. Everybody shared the belief that the prosperity of our two worlds would continue for all eternity. It would have done were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Mekonis, or rather, the existence of anything but itself. And one day, it took control of my friend, Arglas and he became Zanza. It was Arglas, possessed by Zanza, who directed his sword at Maconis. I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. How well you retained a sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Mayneth? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can live in peace again. Again? I see. Yes, you're right. Shouldn't have done that, little brat. Difficult with it there. <laughs> A cliffhanger for the ages. Next time, we'll find out more about this turn of events. <laughs> and then we enter the final stages of the game. This is Zeno in Azuma signing out. <laughs>